Step 9, Assigning Task Calendars. Now that we have the schedule put together with logic and durations, our next step is to uh, assign availability to each of these individual tasks. And what I mean by that is that's essentially to assign a calendar of availability to every single task we have in the schedule. So if you go in the details section under general, you'll see the activity calendar, okay? You remember the calendars that we set up before? We set up multiple different calendars, uh, five days, five day with, with holidays and weather, uh, seven day calendar. Um, you know, this was, this is for, uh, our, you know, our project. The one we're missing here is an asphalt calendar. Um, so, uh, if, if we went back to our, to our sample project, you remember we set up all four. So um, you can see five day, five day with holidays, seven day, and an asphalt calendar. So if I were to go through and say, okay, I want to set up a, you know, uh, I have all the calendars assigned. I want to go ahead and assign, a, you know, a calendar each individual task. Now, NTP is uh, you know it could be any day of the week so we'd probably assign that a seven day calendar now if you look up here one thing i want to point out is you can choose from global calendars or project calendars remember we we set everything up on a project-based calendar meaning that we're not inserting calendars into somebody else's database okay that's what a global calendar is this one's specific to a project okay um, so we can hit, we can just simply select seven day calendar and it's assigned. Okay. So, uh, say we did submittals, develop a submittal, uh, a submittal would be a, a five day with holidays. It wouldn't be five days with holidays and weather, obviously it would just be a five day. Okay. Um, so we're going to go through and set up all calendars. Now let's switch back to our sample project, that warehouse project. Now, in this individual one, like I said, I'm, we're, we're missing uh, one of the calendars. Uh, we could actually go and we could say, okay, we go to global calendars and we can look. I'm sure there's an asphalt calendar here somewhere. Maybe not. Um, so we may have to go back and, and set one up. But uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we can we can accept uh, assigned calendars uh to each individual task or we can sign them assign them in bulk now this is something i'd like to do to kind of help uh you know uh help the pro the process go along faster so we can assign them individually by selecting you know this uh the in the detail sec section the uh, t task calendar or we can go up to the column setting right and we can add in uh the calendar now let's go in here and remember exactly where it is. I think it's under uh, or maybe probably under general. Yeah, there it is right there. So let's go ahead and bring in the calendar. Um, and you see we have the calendar signed standard right there. So let's go ahead and, and say, okay, everything in this section is designed. So it's going to be a five day with holidays. Um, so we're going to do, we'll say, um, we'll select everything in here and then we'll just simply right click and fill down. Okay. So that's what we did. Actually, there's an error there because this is a plan review and a plan review should be on a seven day calendar, right? So it's easy enough to change as we see fit. So uh, once again, I'll, I'll walk through that fill down. Um, I think it's very, very helpful. If we walk in and we say, okay, here are uh, all the submittals, okay? So this is not submittal reviews. These are just the submittals. So they're going to be on a, a five-day. We can double-click there, five-day with holiday. And then we just hold down the shift key to the bottom, right-click, and we hit fill down. So that's a way we can quickly bulk load things. And the nice thing about the way we've done it by putting, you know, putting different things in different categories, we don't have to go one by one. We can lump things together. 
Um, so that's extremely helpful to be able to do that. Why do we go ahead and do this? Because at the because remember our calendars are um, show the availability, and if we remember, we we look back at the uh, the uh, you know project calendar. We can see what the availability is. So we want to mod we see a modify. You see, we only have weekends here, right? Uh, you know, if we have a seven-day calendar, we have uh, in this case uh, we had modified that calendar. This is for the other project. Uh, we know we're going to need to go through here and you know make these uh, work days. You know, to make a seven-day calendar. So we're showing availability. That's all we're doing. We're showing that days were available to work. We don't want the schedule to schedule work to occur on Christmas. You know, we don't want that to occur because we know it's not going to happen. We also want to anticipate weather. Uh, I bring up the asphalt calendar because the asphalt calendar is very important because we, you know, in many places, asphalt plant shuts down during the winter and we don't want to be saying that hey we're going to place asphalt uh, during the winter uh, because that really does doesn't <laughs> doesn't tell the true story here and actually we end up look kind of like an idiot here so if we see the asphalt calendar well we know gosh we even if we try if the dates pushed you know see even even if we did a baseline schedule and we had uh, you know asphalt taking place in May things happen and the project schedule pushes we want to design the schedule with logic and availability so if the schedule pushes you know we're able to uh, to prevent things like uh, trying to asphalt in January or February you know so that's what this is all about so that's ta that is a uh, step number one number nine we simply assign task calendars to each end each assigned calendars to each available task I showed you how to do them individually uh, we talked about the four types of calendars the five day with work days um, the five day with holidays uh, five day five day with holidays five day with holidays and weather seven day and asphalt calendars of the four calendars uh, we talked about how to assign them in bulk and how to assign them uh, individually that pretty much covers step number nine task calendars. Thank you.